All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a video here from TMZ titled Marcus Stokes loses scholarship after caught saying N word in video. We about to play this. Uh, it was a kid from Florida playing on the Gators. He lost his scholarship. It got rescinded because video surfaced to him using the N word while he was riding, listening to music. So they, I'm about to show you that right now. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while we're watching. Let's get into it real quick. Short 14 second video. Man, I mean, I will say, I will say, knowing that you are, knowing that you on a, on a college on a college football team, especially a team as big as the Gators, you got to be cool with, you got to be cool with posting stuff online because once you post stuff online, it's forever and it could get it could get spread around so easily. But just being honest, I don't think I don't think something like this really ruined any black people's day i don't i didn't even really i didn't even know about this i didn't even hear about this it's not a big of a deal but this is something that that you know companies even even these schools because they run these schools like like businesses at the end of the day even these schools they this is a liability thing something to protect themselves from any type of blowback you know if 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 you get exposed or if, yeah, if you get exposed, you're a white person. Sorry, saying the N word on camera. You know, it just it, it doesn't. It has a different effect than if a, if a black person says it. You know, you may think words is just words. That's what I think. I don't. I don't. I, me personally, I don't care. Especially in that context of, of just rapping. I mean, he was just singing along to a song. You know, where I grew up. You know, white people. My friends, white people said it. Mexican said it. Puerto Rican said it. Black people said like we all said it. So I'm I'm personally desensitized to it, but some people are sensitive. It's funny because people who aren't black will be more sensitive. Um, when, will be more sensitive when they hear the word than a black person might. In in some cases, but um, let me see here. Yeah, let's just before before I read the article, let's just take a look at his highlights real quick and see what type of player he was. I I haven't really um been into football since I was young, so let's get into it though. I got I gotta replay it. Did you see how, the way he passed it? It was like a it was like an underhand type of pass. Watch this, watch this. Nah, that's nice. He's different. This kid is different. See in this oh But no, you know, it's it's a shame that this kid is losing his scholarship over this. I, I think if this would have happened back in the day, he might not have lost. Let's say if this would have happened 10 years ago, maybe, he wouldn't have lost his scholarship. But nowadays, at, at the rate everything is is rapidly increasing, you know, politics and and culture, Nowadays, it's just it's not it's not acceptable. These 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 colleges they won't they won't accept that. They see it, they'll drop you like a like a bad habit, regardless. Even if if you had a scholarship and you qualified, um, yeah. I mean, I me personally, I think you know the, the kid shouldn't have lost his scholarship. This should be a, a situation where you know somebody sit the kid down, 
just tell him, you know, like be smooth with that word. You know, I, I clearly he the kid don't have no bad. I don't, I don't think he has no bad intentions. It don't seem like he just singing a song. He don't got no bad intentions behind the words. It should be some. It's, he should be scolded, but not not this not this severely. In, in my opinion, let me know how you feel about that in the comments. But let's read this article to finish off. University of Florida has rescinded a football scholarship offered to a high school prospect for using the N-word while rapping along with, uh, with a song. Standout quarterback Marcus Stokes of Nice High School in Ponte Vedra Beach posted a video of him mimicking the lyric as he rode in a car. Welcome back, N-word. He can be heard saying in the since-deleted two-second clip. I was in my car listening to rap music, rapping along to the words, and posted a video of it to social media. Stokes wrote in a statement Sunday, I deeply apologize for the words in which in for the words in the song which I cho chose to say. Stokes, who played at the same high school as University of Florida legend Tim Tebow, confirmed that his offer had been revoked after the incident. My intent was never to hurt anybody. I recognize that even going along with the song, my words can still carry a lot of weight, he said. Stokes had received more than a dozen offers from Division One college programs and flipped his commitment from Penn State to Florida in July. Yeah, you know, I mean, realistically, it's not about, it's really not about hurting people. It's just about the school not wanting to be hurt by, you know, backing, backing this kid who may potentially hurt a few people. But to be honest, this ain't really ruffling no feathers. But he, he, he released this statement. Let me see. I was in my car listening to rap music, rapping along the words, and I posted a video on social media. Okay, we just read that. I fully accept the consequences for my actions, and I respect the University of Florida's decision to withdraw my scholarship offer to play football. My intention was never to hurt anybody. I recognize that even when going along with a song, my words can carry a lot of weight. I will strive to be better and become the best version of myself, both on and off the field. I know that learning from my mistakes is a first important step. You know, I mean, this seems genuine. He obviously he had it right. I don't know if he wrote that himself. I hope I hope so, but it seems it seems genuine. You know what I mean? Um yeah, the word, the word, the word itself. I mean, yeah, I, I wish, I wish, you know, black people didn't even use it as much as we did because we, we start, well, we didn't start it, but you know, we, we kind of made it, um, we made it cool amongst ourselves, and then that, that's what, that's what kind of made it, made it cool because it was never a cool word to begin with, but we kind of made it a hip word. So now, of course, it's, it's embedded in culture, it's embedded in rap music. Everybody want to use it, but. Yeah, this kid will bounce back, man. He's young. What, 18, 18 years old? He's young, man. He'll he'll bounce back for sure. But don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on, on uh, the video on your way out the door. Till next time, you guys, I'm out. Peace.